ever have an idea for a Kickstarter project? If only you could get funding needed. It could definitely be the next home run. Well, my next guest is a young entrepreneur who spent two years testing out hundreds of ingredients before coming up with this excellent twist on snacking. Nick Hamburger is the co-founder of Huevos, an innovative new snack company, and he's here to give us the backstory about how this one-of-a-kind chip came about. So Nick, thanks for joining us. In the beginning, how did you guys actually come up with this idea? Yeah, well, well thanks for having me, Kim. Um, it's a pleasure to be here. So uh, my co-founder, Zach, came up with it. He's type 1 diabetic. Uh, he cooked eggs a lot because they're low carb. And basically, just he, we were eating the crunchy pieces of egg left in a pan when you make an omelet. And we're like, hey, these are crispy. They're crunchy. They're kind of like chips. And so that's how the idea dawned upon us. And then you went to Kickstarter? Um, well, <laughs> a couple years after the, the first idea came to us, we uh, did about two years of product development and tried hundreds of ingredients. And it was mainly Zach actually just kind of going uh, crazy with it and spent a ton of time. And once we had a really good final product, after testing in some local stores, then we went to Kickstarter. So how many eggs did he blow through over two years? <laughs> thousands. I mean, maybe <laughs> tens of thousands. It was crazy. And we were lucky enough to uh, have won a business contest at UChicago, the new venture challenge. And we were also in Kraft Heinz's incubator program. And so um, with that seed funding, we were able to, you know, <laughs> buy those tens of thousands of eggs and not have to worry about it and cover it out of our own pocket. So tell us about the final product. So yeah, I mean, we spent a long time developing it. Um, at first, we only had keto products, and, and we still do have two keto flavors, which have 10 grams of protein in every bag uh, and three net carbs in every bag. And then we also added a more mass market um, option because we wanted to, we knew a chip made from egg whites could go a lot of ways. We didn't want to only be uh, kind of a niche brand. And so we added our classic flavors, uh, which have five grams of protein, five grams of fiber, but are a little more of the classic snacking experience. So these are egg chips. Are they baked? Um, it's kind of, there's a reason there's no egg-based chip on the market. It's what I like to tell people. It's a process that's kind of uh, unseen in the snacking category. So um, it's not baking. All right, so tell us how you funded this. Because you mentioned briefly Kickstarter and then the Craft Incubator, and then you won a contest in Chicago. Give us some more of the story about that. Sure. So yeah, the first funding we got was $15,000 from the Booth Business School at UChicago. And um, that was super helpful because we reimbursed ourselves. We each spent like $3,000, me and Zach each. And we're, and we're college students. So, you know, it's a lot for us. And um, then we got in the Crafts Incubator. They gave us $50,000. Um, we did our Kickstarter program uh, campaign in April, and we've also raised funding um, from venture capitalists and angel investors in Chicago since that. So um, we have some additional funding outside of the Kickstarter. So all total, how much money did you raise? Um, total, we've raised over a million dollars. That's awesome. And you're still in college? Thank you. Um, I've dropped out now. Oh! Um, yeah. <laughs> That's okay. And so when the angel investors put a valuation on your company, what's that number look like? So um, we did it in the form of a convertible note. Um, it's also called a safe note. Some people refer to it like that these days. But basically, um, because the company's so early, you don't want to, it's really almost impossible to, to put a value on it. And so our note basically kicks that valuation down the road and there's a maximum. So the maximum that, that our, value, our company can be valued at is $4 million, but that happens later at our next round of funding. And so, obviously, the first round of funding was to get the product, the R&D. The next round of funding is going to be marketing and distribution? Um, pretty much, yeah. You know, um, some of this funding is going towards marketing, but mostly R&D, setting up our manufacturing and, um, and working capital. And then the goal is to prove it out. Um, it's kind of the typical uh, venture model, right? You take that funding, you prove it out over a year and a half to two years that, hey, we have a lot of loyal customers and we just need to scale this cross-country. And so where can people find your chips? Um, so right now we're in 200 stores. Um, we're in 50 health shops around Chicago. We're in Peapod Grocery Delivery in the Midwest, in Maryland, and out in Jersey City. And then we're just launching Hannaford Grocery Stores in 150 spots. 
Um, and so if you're not in out east or in the Midwest, you can go to Cuevos.com, Q-U-E-V-O-S.com, and we sell in six packs, um, so a little larger quantities. And so how much is a six pack of chips? A six pack right now is seventeen ninety nine, um, free shipping uh, this week actually, <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, it's ten percent off if you subscribe and you want your chips every month. Well, you know what? I'm so proud of you. I think this is. I love when entrepreneurs, you know, can get their dream and grab it and then run with it because it's so exciting. What do your folks say? <laughs> well, uh, you know, my parents were a little shocked about dropping out when I made that decision. Um, but they've been super supportive and I've actually been, been living at home the past year. Uh, they've liked that. <laughs> My mom loves cooking for me every day. So, um, they, they've been really supportive, although it did take them, uh, you know, some time to adjust to the idea of, of me not being in school. Yeah. But you have this incredible future ahead of you as an entrepreneur. And so your revenue for next year, any projection? Um, so we're going to close the year around 400,000 this year. And then we're anticipating doing two and a half to 3 million next year. Wow. Um, we're going to have a major national launch with a retailer, which can help with that. And you know, um, a great place to advertise those chips because I live that whole high protein right here. Come on, baby. Come on over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> you got it. Mm-hmm. Well, listen, thanks for being on the show, Nick. Congratulations to you and Zach and keep us posted on your progress. If you're ever in Phoenix, come by and say hi. Okay. Yeah, no, definitely. And thank you so much for having me on the show. You know, um, I'm here at home, but it, it felt a little bit like being in the studio, getting to see that over Skype. So In Chicago, you can listen to us on WLS 890 AM. Oh, cool. I, yeah. I listen to that uh, pretty frequently, actually. So, so here you go. <laughs> I'll check thanks, it out. Thanks again. And so just remember, the next time someone asks you, hey, how do you want your eggs? You can tell them, hmm, I think I want them extra crispy. And as an entrepreneur and business owner myself, I like to see other businesses succeed. And that's why I put together an entire section dedicated to small business on my website. It's just jam-packed full of resources and yours for the taking over at commando.com. And if you or someone you know has a business success story that you'd like to share, Uh, Just drop me a note by clicking on the link at the bottom of the website at commando.com that says contact us.